What makes Cyberpunk 2077 a great game? Good morning, Night City! Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30! Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Thanks for uh, clicking on this video. This is going to be an in-depth opinion and breakdown of Cyberpunk 2077 uh, by CD Projekt Red. I absolutely love this game, and I think there is a real gem here to come back to or to start for the first time if you uh, have had previous bad experiences with it or the name was tarnished so bad that you didn't even want to give it a shot. I know launch was really rough for this game, and I'm here to tell you that it is not in that state anymore. The labor of love that this game has received, I think, is really incredible and really refreshing to see uh, in the gaming space. This is an M-rated game, uh, and while my review and opinions of it will be, you know, E for everyone, uh, the game is intended for adults. The immersion in world building. The setting of Cyberpunk, um, which has been around for much longer than the game has been out. Um, I absolutely love the idea of technology advancing so far that it becomes even more ingrained into our daily lives um, and bodies than it is now. Um, really fascinates me the idea of you know getting chromed up and the way the lingo changes and the way the cars and, and buildings look. I think is super interesting. Um, and I honestly see it as a possible far off future from uh, where we are now. I, I genuinely do believe that. Um, Eastern cultures and influences obviously pushing over into the Western world in this game are super interesting to me as well as someone that enjoys anime and manga and uh, Eastern culture in general. Um, I really, really like how it plays a part in this story. Night City as a whole feels super lived in. Everywhere you go, there's almost always uh, some NPC that you can see, um, except for like obviously out, way out in the Badlands and in the wastes. But there's so many cars and houses and store owners and random people walking on the streets. And while you can't have a genuine dialogue with most of those people, um, it really makes it feel like you are walking around in a lived-in city, and I think that is really grounding to be in. Um, the amount of just random people walking around in goofy-ass outfits and saying the weirdest things is super funny to me and super believable. Um, if you have seen the anime Edge Runners, you'll be pleased to know that there is definite references in here in terms of characters and items and, and quests um, and storylines that are directly tied to Edge Runners, which I think is phenomenal. Um, very, very cool that anime whooped ass, so um, it's really good to see in here. There's a lot of running themes in this game that I find to be very grounding and refreshing uh, there's tales of just pure violence and regret remorse uh, you know revenge all the R uh, themes apparently but there's a lot of real raw emotion in this game to make you tethered to um, Night City or the people of it as a whole characters the sheer number of NPCs that you can have a true dialogue with is is nuts. I mean, I am pretty decent with names at this point because I am now on my third playthrough. Um, but there are so many people that just reach out to you for a single job, or and you have and you have a real dialogue with them, or you know, there's tons of NPCs that you are common stays that you keep talking to. Uh, there are an enormous amount of people. Um, to talk to in this game and they all feel different uh, and the what i mean by that is like their personalities you know you have a lot of angry people and a lot of shy people and a lot of like in your face types and backstabbers and sly corpo scum like there's a lot of really neat personalities in this game to again tie you into the game and really make you feel immersed um, if you're a fan of romances in a, in this in games, I I got some good news for you. There's some really solid ones here. There's r four real romances as of right now, 
and two flings is probably what I'd call them. You have Judy, Pan Am, River, and Carrie as the main four romances, and then the little flings are with like Meredith Stout and Rogue. Um, if it, since we're talking about my opinion, I really enjoy Judy and Rivers' uh, quest lines, dialogue, and romances uh, a lot. Um, I'm currently doing Pan Ams, um, and I blew through it. I've pretty much done all the missions like two times now, you know, so, um, I don't know, that's just my personal opinion. Um, a lot of people make you feel like the main character here. So when you start off your, uh, spoiler alert, you're revived pretty much, and you literally are, are taken out of a trash dump. The, the way that it signifies that you are just bottom of the barrel you're a nobody you mean nothing and the way that you progress through the game um really makes you feel like a main character without like shoving it in your face too much like you're not always overpowered um you're not always you know top dog the slyest or the funniest or whatever um but you're really able to feel like you're uh gaining traction as the story goes on but that being said there's also a big balance of you just getting dunked on by powerful people like there's you know massive headliners in the in the corporate world or you know people like adam smasher who just like will absolutely trounce you um and make you feel like you're just dog water um but then you have those moments where you feel like you're really making a change or really doing a lot of work and you're climbing the ladder there's a really good balance in between there to constantly make you feel like oh i can get better and i'm also really cool at the same time to the effect of like how many people there are there are have you guys like seen clips or videos i know in some of them uh the clips i'm showing the video right now there's a lot of cars and a lot of people but sometimes you're like walking through like kabuki market or something like that and you're like pushing through people at all times because there's so many people it is pretty wild also, I really want to point out the relationship with Johnny Silverhand. Um, while he is an absolute ass, I love the interactions and the performance that Keanu Reeves put on in, in voice acting and like the modeling. I think it's freaking awesome. The way you see Johnny interact with V and the way that they both grow, and that's dependent on your actions and how you treat each other, I think is just super fun. Gameplay. So this one is actually tweaked a bit since launch, but a 2.0 rework of skill trees and quality of life have changed so much. I I could go into detail about the 2.0 and 2.1 patch notes, but um, if you're interested, I can link them down below. They are absolutely mind-boggling. They changed out all the skill trees. They made some real quality of life improvements the update was huge and when i came back to play phantom liberty and and the 2.0 update it was really refreshing and uh while it took a second to get used to i really do enjoy it also if you're like me and you love customizing things this game is awesome uh on the screen i'll probably have it where i'm like swapping between my selected like outfits that you can have and as soon as you get it into your inventory you can just uh go mess with it in your in your apartment and find a, an outfit that you like and i really really enjoy customization and the fact that it's just that easy that's like another one of the quality of life things really really do enjoy it uh the gun feel and melee feel uh and overall enjoyment of combat has been always really high for me um while there's not like a massive array of different guns and weapons um i really do enjoy the the mechanics of it it feels good and they're snappy and there's really not anything to complain about here um i'm more interested in the role playing and the moral decisions that this game uh, plentifully uh, gives you the opportunity to play out but the the combat is really solid and the skill trees uh the new way that they've done them makes different playthroughs insanely viable uh, i might have mentioned it but i'm on my third playthrough my third v and each time I go with a different couple, you know, skills to really be proficient in, and then that's kind of dictates how I play or what what uh, cybernetics I use and whatnot. My next one I'm planning on uh, being a net runner, kind of like inspired by Lucy from uh, Edge Runners. Um, so I'll be like taking different uh, skills and talents and trees and whatnot, and, and using mono wire in that playthrough. 
Uh, the game has become more accessible even from the beginning of launch, like the fast travel, the newly added subway system, um, calling your car, things like that have uh, really made the game easy to get into, and the tips that come up on the screen are super helpful as well. What I really do like about this is another reason, like I love Baldur's Gate, and this game also feels like a TTRPG just in the first person. Um, there's no, It's not as tactical, obviously, but... I mean, the game was originally, Cyberpunk was originally a TTRPG, a tabletop role-playing game uh, made by Mike Pondsmith. And a lot of the characters and locations and, and companies and names have come from directly from that, that game. Uh, there's so much content in this game. It is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, like random encounters, enormous amount of quests, personal storylines, backgrounds, you know, stealing cars. Uh, they, there's just so much to do in this game just in the base game uh that i have a, a ton of hours into this game and you know i gotta love going goblin mode and buying all the cars and apartments just to just to complete the game but i mean right now i'm trying to do a 100 percent run so I'm, I'm on my way as i said before this is the second video of this kind if you enjoy it and, and stuck around this long please you know maybe like the video or comment down below what you want to see next or uh, comment how I can make this better. Like I said, this is just a personal analysis, um, but maybe, maybe, maybe you like it, and you know, give me some constructive criticism down there. Uh, I did buy Neon Abyss as someone requested in the previous one, so maybe request a game that I will uh, honestly review, and uh, you know, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. The soundtrack. Are you kidding me? If you don't like this soundtrack, I, I kind of understand, you know, it's a it, it's a personal thing, but uh, I love the music they went with to define their game. Um, and if you don't like, you know, like the main um, cyberpunk music, uh, there's also artists of our time in there. There's ASAP Rocky, there's Cause and Conway, Deadly Hunter, Gazelle Twins, Grimes, Elon Rubin, Nina Kravis, uh, Rat Boy, Run the Jewels, there's so many of our times artists in here and i think the way that they wrote those in and kind of tweak the sound to make it feel like it would be popular around then is super interesting uh the radio you know plays a bunch of good music all the time and when you get into fights and and sneaking around the music is always good there too price so 59.99 for the base of the game 29.99 for dlc which sounds like a lot but um, it's 8% off if you do the deluxe, which includes the DLC, and that's on Steam. And it goes on sale fairly, fairly regularly. Um, I got it on sale, I think. Um, it's, it's really worth it. And in the previous video, I said something about my dollar to hour ratio, so if I spend $30 and I get 30 hours out of it, I think it is 100% worth it. Even if I didn't like the game that much, so if I pay like $2 and I play 2 hours, like, okay, that was worth it. Um, I have more than, uh made my money on this game in that sense dlc phantom liberty so as of right now only phantom liberty has come out I'm, i hope we get more but uh, this is a spoiler warning for uh, phantom liberty i'm not going to get too deep into it but uh, i gotta say some things uh the dlc is super good along with the revamps and changes that they made to the game uh, this DLC adds a pretty large area and a lot of characters as well that I find to be very fitting into the setting and also refreshingly different and with a lot of moral tough choices. Uh, a lot of great characters were added like Songbird and Kurt Hansen, Reed, Alex, uh, and we get to see a lot more from the Fixer Hands, which I find to be super fun. Um, this is also like another main character feeling uh, part of the game, even more so than the previous bits. Um, themes of trauma, regret, and betrayal, and the need to survive are heavily present in this one as someone that shares your fate as well, and you get a real connection there, and the moral decisions that come along with uh, that are super interesting. Uh, we got Idris Elba as Solomon Reed. Are you kidding me? Another super good actor coming in uh, for a role. I found it to be freaking awesome. Uh, there's a lot of great locations like the underground facility, Dogtown in general, their secret bases. Dogtown, it feels so very different from Night City, but also so same, like cut from the same cloth. It's it's super cool. It's kind of got like a Miami vibe to it. It's, it's super neat. Um, you finally get to fight like a full-on max tech. 
situation in here, which if you're a Cyberpunk Edge Runners fan, you know, you're probably probably looking at that. Um there's a funny little dialogue that gets added with your partner about your apartment in Dogtown, which I thought was pretty funny. I wanted to throw that in here. And uh there's a Stella Ramos uh, reference to Edge Runners. If you haven't seen the music video for Edge Runners, it's actually canon. It's super good, ties in super well and uh, she's in this game as well. My final thoughts and my call to action. So this is one of my most played games on Steam. I absolutely love it. Um, I had a lot of reservations too when uh, it first started Breaking Bad. And I'm on my third playthrough. Man, I really, really enjoy this game. And I really want to urge you to, if you you know drop the game because it had a bad rap or... Um, you haven't tried it yet because of it or you know any reason i would really suggest you try to pick it up and, and get into it because i i absolutely love this game uh i understand it might not be for everyone but but still uh, i'm really hoping for more dlc you guys uh just pray for it i guess do whatever you gotta do to get it get it to go but if you stayed this long you know subscribe i really appreciate you guys and what do you want to see me cover next appreciate it thank you